Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is May 31st of 2020, and I'm going to come to you today because I'm going to share with you a prophecy that was given uh, to the pen uh, May 30th of 2020 at 3.09 p.m. Um, well, that's when it was downloaded. That's when it was actually written on uh, 444 Prophecy News. And then I'm going to share with you uh, my dream I had last night about the bride. Um, okay, so... Let me just get in, right into reading this prophecy, this word from God. Open your eyes to what the elites have planned now before it's too late. Are you ready to proceed with the next step in their diabolical plan? Forced vaccinations, then the mark of the beast, yes or no? Those that willingly take the vaccination are doomed. I am will not lift you up on the last day for you will have the horns of the goat and the stench of sin will reach my nostrils. Away from me, I never knew you. Are you so incredulous, so weak as to go to the slaughter without a thought of their true intentions? Is it fear that drives you to accept their evil plans? We must obey the civil authorities, your future, your families, your stomachs, your wallets, your freedoms, your pleasures, peer pressure, the right thing to do. Modern science knows all. But the stores are opening, people are going back to work, restrictions are being lifted or eased. The trap has been lifted, a crack, for all to think. The return of yesterday is back. Not so. It is a mirage, concocted to claim the masses for a spell. For a spell it is, and working well. You have collectively passed their test. Obedient puppies, slaves all, accepting their lies Holus bolus. It is a short spell. The fall bring, brings their kicker. Pray, watch, be silent, be calm, refuse their poison darts. Prepare now for the coming onslaught of destruction of all you know as I am will renew the face of the earth from top to bottom, from rich to poor, from land to sea, from left to right, from up to down, from yes to no, man to woman. Only in me will you be safe and saved. And that was the prophecy. Okay, so uh, I'm going to tell you about this this dream of the bride last night I had. It was so really cool. And, um, okay, so I was <laughs> flying through the air. I just fly through the air a lot in my dreams. I kind of like that. That's cool. So anyway, so I'm flying through the air, and I have on a the whitest wedding dress that you could ever see. It's almost, it's so white, it's like blinding almost. I mean, it's like the, there's no white that pure here on earth, on earth. I'm just telling you it's not. So I'm flying over the top of this, um, all I know is it's really super green grass. And there seems to be a party going on outside on the, on the yard, in the, well, I wouldn't call it a yard because it, just big, huge bunch of grass. And there seems to be like a barn. Um, it's like a barn, you know, like, I don't know. I live in Florida. We're kind of country around here. So uh, people in the South, we do like barn weddings and stuff. Really, it's beautiful stuff. Um, so anyway, um, there was this like, I guess, like a massive barn. And as I'm flying around now, I'm holding my train. The, tr the, the, the thing that's on the back of the wedding dress is the train. It is so long. I have to just, just, uh, I can't explain, explain to you just how huge these train, this train was. As I'm, f I'm holding it, as I'm flying through the air, and um, I'm looking down on the ground, and there's all these brides here, and there's one over here, and there's one over here, and there, and you know, just everywhere, all over the ground. And their wedding dresses are so beautiful. And they're so white, the whitest white. And I, I one one wedding dress really stood out to me um, uh, really well because, oh, my gosh. Um, I um, In the dream, I was just, I had just my, I had been focused on, I just focused in on that one. The train on the wedding dress had doves. Um, uh, like, you know, like a lace uh, wedding train. Well, this had doves all over it. It was so beautiful. It, it, it was just gorgeous. And I'm flying around, flying around. And then there's this big, huge white, um, I don't know what to call it. I don't know the material, but it's this beautiful white sheet that seems, 
it, it's so tall. It's so hanging from so high up in the in the air. It comes all the way down. It's like the backdrop for like this stage area because there's people dancing. Uh, there's people dancing and having a great time. Everybody was uh, happy and rejoiceful. Um, and so that's why that's what I saw was that there was just brides with the whitest, whitest dresses, all just, you know, standing with standing with like their like their spouse. I guess it was their spouse. And um, but not in not in reality, meaning their earthly spouse. OK, it's just a representation of we're the bride of Christ. That's what that's a representation of. So it was a really beautiful, encouraging dream. And there was another part of my dream, which I can't remember it very well, but me and another lady, and I can't, I wish I could remember who the lady was because something tells me I, I, I know her. Um, so me and her, uh, we were invited to come to this banquet. And um, it was a beautiful table setting. And we sat down and uh, it was like 16, I think, I think, I think it was 15 or 16. I can't remember, but I think it was 16. Because she said, boy, this this 16th part of this meal was a lot for me or something like that. She wasn't complaining. She was just happy to have been able to do it. And in the, and it was the dessert. It was it was the dessert, and it tasted really good. Um, she, uh, I'm trying to think of what she said. There was like a, it was like a 16 course meal is what it was. And the 16th part of it was the end part, which was the dessert. And she was really happy that she was able to provide that for us. And it was, it tasted good. So, um, I just, uh, wanted to encourage you with that. So just stay focused on Jesus Christ. And yes, I shared that video yesterday and no, I do not believe it's staged at all. And I understand that this is going to happen everywhere. Uh, you know, this is this is not a a fear tactic. Uh, that video was not a fear tactic, um, as some of you uh, seem to think. Um, it's not. Uh, this 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 thing really happened. I found it on Facebook. It's not a actual video that's shareable like YouTube videos. Okay, it was on. Um, oh, Trisha. From uh, his humble servant, 333, last night I was sharing it with her, and she actually found it for me on Facebook. So it was on Shotgun Sean, his page, Shotgun Sean. And I think it was back from April 19th, uh, okay? And he his caption on it was, um, is this mental illness or what do you think? But me, no, it's not mental illness. The man's upset because when he was a child... You know, they put them on medication and stuff. There's a lot of people that are put on medication who should not be put on medication. Uh, I don't believe that people should be putting on medication. Um, Jesus is our healer, you know. And that's why this man ended up getting in trouble because he went to the hospital in the first place. When you get sick, call on the name of Jesus Christ. You know, ask for his healing because he does heal. He does heal. I'm telling you something. He's healed me many times when I call upon his name. And I rebuke the sickness and I call upon the name of Jesus Christ and I call upon the power of his blood. Okay? So you got a choice to make. Do you want pharmacy or do you want Jesus Christ? You know, I mean, some of you ain't going to like it because you like your pills. Some of you not going to like it because you have the uh, thought process of, well, God gave us the knowledge to do this stuff. No, he didn't. No, he did not. The fallen angels did. And it's in the book of Enoch very clearly. And that's probably one of the reasons why they removed it out of the Bible, because they can't push their agenda if we know the truth. Okay? So, um, anyway, I wanted to uh, tell you about the dream. I wanted to tell you, reach you that prophecy of what's to come. Okay? And, you know, I do not believe that we, uh, you know, some of us are not going to be here for that time of testing, which is to come upon the whole earth. That's in the Church of Philadelphia Book of Revelations. Um you know, uh, some will be delivered into prison for 10 days. I think that was the Church of Smyrna, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure. And then the Church of Philadelphia, they say, uh, it said that uh, because you have kept my patience, okay? 
and you have not denied my name. I shall keep you from the hour of testing, which is to come upon the entire earth. And I think that the, the uh, mark of the beast, taking the mark of the beast and stuff, that is the testing that is to come upon the whole earth because that is going to come upon the whole earth. Okay? That's what I believe. Um, so, uh, you know, some people are going to be taken, but not everybody. And most, and there's a lot of people who think they're going that they're not going nowhere. All right? Uh, the, the book of Revelations even talks about it, okay? Some of you shall be delivered up into prison, and you shall be there for 10 days. It even tells you how long you'll be in prison. 10 days, okay? All right, so I love you all, but just uh, s s walk, step out of sin right now. Come off the once saved, always saved boat, because that boat's sinking. That boat is sinking. It's got holes all in it. It's going to sink, all right? So um, turn from sin today. Just stay in prayer. And it's a relationship with Jesus Christ. It's not about religion. And it certainly is not about a church building. All right? It's not about a church building at all. So seek him now while you may find him. And uh, just God bless you on this day. All right. Goodbye.